This, as California's homeless problem grows, so does another issue, human waste out on the streets. But tonight, Sacramento lawmakers could be one step closer to finding a solution. CBS 13's Rick Boone is live in Sacramento with how a new toilet could stop the stench, Rick. Yeah, you know, anywhere that you may walk here in uh, downtown Sacramento, you're going to smell it, human waste. Now, homeless people tell me they do it because they have no other place to go, but that could soon be changing. Even if these pictures are blurred, it's pretty clear what you're seeing. Human waste on the streets of Sacramento. They go in between the dumpsters and they pretty much just use it as a bathroom. Andrew's new business is right next to the alley on 9th Street between J and K Streets. Every time he takes out the trash, he sees homeless people either going to the bathroom in the alley or the after result of their actions on the ground. It's like a, a public bathroom at a park that probably hasn't been maintained. Like. It's that bad. Even if he tries to avoid the smell outside, he still can't escape it. During the summertime, you can actually smell it inside our store. That frustration from business owners is forcing the city to react, proposing to install this Portland Lou, a standalone public restroom, to be placed at Cesar Chavez Park across from City Hall. An idea that homeless say is about time, especially during late hours where there's a limited number of bathrooms. And they had to run down to the city hall or over to the library. Sometimes when you get in the library, that stall will be full. Whether or not, it's not really much privacy. The comfort station is not self-cleaning. That duty will be up to Sacramento Park Maintenance. It will be one of its kind in the city that has 85 public restroom locations. It's not a guarantee less human waste will be on the streets with one new toilet, but business owners like Andrew say let's see if it works. He's up for any measure that could decrease gross aromas hovering around his storefront. I don't know if one, one is going to be enough for how many people are down here, but... Uh, it's a start for sure. The cost of that bathroom coming up about uh, three hundred thousand dollars. The decision on whether or not it's actually going to happen, well, that'll be tomorrow night. Voted on inside this building right behind me. And we'll track the vote. All right, Rick, live in downtown tonight.